Father God, we come before you today in the spirit of thanksgiving. As an important season of our lives has come to an end, we enter into this new season that you've set before us. I pray you can find in each of us a heart like David had, a heart that was after your own heart. Help us to remember how he tended to his flocks as we tend to our daily lives. Only then can we face the giants that call out our name in the promised land, whether that is in the workforce or in the college we will attend. Remind us of the greatest weapon for these battles, the sword of the Spirit, which we like to refer to as the Bible. Lead us and guide us to your purpose in our lives that you've handcrafted us for, and help us to remember that we can serve you in any occupation. Guard our hearts and minds, and lead us to complete the right and righteous works in your perfect plan for us. Help us to remember the cross and all that we do. Amen. You may be seated. And now, Mr. Crutchfield.
Mr. Burke and the Acapella Group. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, I would like to welcome you to the 2016 Eastside High School Graduation Ceremony. Each of these students has been many years preparing for this special day. I would like to thank the parents, guardians, friends, relatives, and staff for your dedication to each of our graduates and for all that you've done to make this day possible. I would like to recognize our distinguished guests in attendance and ask each of them to stand and be recognized as I call their name. School Board Representative from District 4, Mr. Nolan Kilby. School Board Representative from District 4, Mr. Larry Greer. School Board Representative from District 3, Ms. Donise Kern. School Board Representative from District 3, Ms. Vicki Williams. School Board Representative from District 2, Mr. Philip Bates. School Board Representative from District 1, Ms. Martha, Martha Jett. School Board Representative from District 1, Mr. Herbert Short. And the Superintendent of Wise County Schools, Mr. Greg Rump. Before we begin the ceremony, I want to express my appreciation for my staff their contributions that made this day possible for our students. To borrow a quote from Teddy Roosevelt, the best leader is the one who has sense enough to pick good people, to do what he wants done, and the self-restraint to keep from meddling with them while they do it. Every staff member is important in contributing to the success of our students. I especially feel the need to thank some staff members that made this day possible. When I call your name, please stand and be recognized. First of all, for all she does to make your senior year special and make this event possible, Ms. Talena Powers. <laughs> Sponsors of the senior team, Ms. Jaquita Laney, her family members of the SCA. <laughs> our ECMC sponsors, Coach Shank, Ms. Lynn Ramey, and Ms. Allison Sobel. Working with our speakers on their speeches, Ms. Mama Hope Cloud. My lead teacher and AD, Coach Patrick Dameron. My school resource officer, Officer Crabtree, he's not here today, but I want to thank him for all of his help. Our guidance department, Coach Shank and Ms. Michelle Phillips. Two ladies that keep everything at the building running smoothly, Ms. Laura Slim and Ms. Melissa Thorpe. And last, but definitely not least, would all the faculty please stand and be recognized. Faith Jackson and Derek Casano to represent the class of 2016. Our valedictorian, Eric Blankenship, has earned a grade point average of 4.38. He's the son of Ted and Angie Blankenship of Coburn. Ted and Angie, would you please stand so we can recognize you? Eric will be attending Virginia Tech and plans to pursue a degree in computer science. Coach Little Victoria Faith Jackson has earned a grade point average of 4.28. She's the daughter of David and Kim Jackson Coburn. David and Kim, would you please stand? <laughs> Faith will be attending the University of Virginia's College of Wives and plans to pursue a degree in biology. Our next co-salutatorian, Derek Cassano has earned a grade point average of 4.28. He's the son of Dr. Matthew and Jackie Cassano, Dick Stone Gap. 
Matthew and Jackie, would you please stand? Eric will be attending Montreal College and plans to pursue a degree in biology. At this time, I'd like to recognize the top 10 students for the class of 2016. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Everyone, please hold your applause until I call all names. These students are in alphabetical order without regard to rank. Again, hold your applause so everyone stand. Is I've called everyone and please remain standing. Eric Blankenship, Derek Cassano, Sean Lamashi, Mariah Gillenwater, Caitlin Hall, Faith Jackson, Richard Jones II, Chris McKnight, Constance Miller, and Alexander Prado. Congratulations, good luck. Eastside High School was the proud sponsor of a scholarship that only 10 schools in the state of Virginia are part of. The scholarship is the Education, Creative Management, Corporation Scholarship. These students will receive $6,000. Students receiving this award, please stand as I call your name, remain standing, and please hold your applause until all names are called. The scholars are Logan Austin, Eric Blankenship, Chastity Carrico, Winford Ham III, Faith Jackson, Richard Jones II, Skylar Matheson, Chris McKnight, Constance Miller, and Sean Sark. Congratulations. East High School had 15 students attend Mountain Empire Community College this year. Ten of those graduated with a general studies degree. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Again, if you would hold your applause until all names are called. Derek Blankenship, Derek Cassano, Faith Jackson, Sean Gamashi, Winfred Ham III. Richard Jones II, Chastity Kirk, Christopher McKnight, Constance Miller, and Alexander Prado. Congratulations. Good luck. Each graduating class is special in its own way. Uh, you guys get to claim something no one else can. You're special to me because we started out together at Eastside at St. Paul High School when Eastside was being renovated. You seem to have been a part of so many accomplishments during the past four years. You seem to have been a part of 16 conference titles, two region titles, and two state championships. This past year, our clubs and organizations dedicated time, money, and energy to community service projects. Several, several were recognized at state level for their accomplishments. We had a student serve as the Speaker of the House. We had another student elected to the Lieutenant Governor for next year in the MGA. We won conference titles in cross country, volleyball, golf, basketball, baseball, softball, splash ball, theater, and tennis. We won individual titles in golf, forensics, cross country, track, and tennis. Our baseball and softball teams continue to play. Uh, their season is on, continues on Monday in regional play at home. So come out and support those teams at 6 o'clock and 7. We had eight all-state performers. Our one act team repeated the state champions. Academically, we've been awarded over $800,000 worth of scholarships. 33 members of this class have earned advanced diplomas. 34 members of this class are named scholars. Would you stand at this time and be recognized as scholars? Please stand.
east side in terms of achievement, you maintain the proud tradition that's been established by earlier east side graduates. For those of you that know me, or who are familiar with me, you may find this hard to believe, being the outgoing, talkative person that I am. My seniors will know that's a joke. Uh, I truly str struggle with what to say to you today. Um, I look back at last year's speech, and I opened up with these. This is your day. And I suppose that statement's going to be in each graduation in some form, everywhere. But what do I mean by making that statement to you? Over the next few minutes, I want you to reflect back on what has happened up to this point. This is such a special day. It's going to be one that you always remember. And you're going to have other special days, like when you get married, like when your children are born, there's many other. And even though this is a special day, if you're like me, you won't remember what day it was. I don't remember the details. I don't even, I don't even remember what the speaker of the principal said. You won't remember what I said. But it is special because of what you've accomplished. As you reflect back, I bet you see today is one that you thought would never get in. Well, now it's here. I want you to be happy today. I want you to be proud of yourself and what you've accomplished. I want you to celebrate with your friends, family, or teachers. I will hope that you will think about how you got here and who helped you. And please take the time to seek them out and let them know how much you appreciate their contributions to making your day what you have today possible. As you reflect, as you watch your senior video, I'm sure that you will feel uneasy, sad, and probably a little bit scared. This group we have here today will never assemble this way again. Some of you have spent over 12 years together. Uh, we as a faculty and staff have spent four years together with you, and you have many members. Leaving this routine we've had, this comfort zone, that is scary. Leaving your friends is going to be sad. But that is also part of what makes your day so memorable and so special. Your day is also special for one other reason. It gives you an opportunity to mark the first day of the rest of your life. So what happens now? The great thing about today is that each of you will have a fresh start. So what are you going to do with it? Some of you have worked extremely hard taking college classes and have plans on what you'll do in the fall. Some of us barely sweep by and have no idea what you're going to be doing. But in either case, the great thing about today is that moving forward, you have choices. You have opportunities. So on your day, take advantage of this fresh start. Allow your support system, family, and teachers, along with the things you've learned, and use them to help you decide what you want in the future. You are a reflection of our staff and our community. There are tough times ahead for all of us, filled with challenges, changes, and the unknown. But as we reflect back together, I believe that you will see that you've proven yourselves capable of succeeding with all the persistence that has gotten you to this point. Please keep all of that in mind as you leave us, as you move out to this community, and help us work through what lies ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, as I close, I'd like to leave you with these words from Colin Powell that I believe describe why we're here today. Success is the result of perfection, hard work, learning from failure, loyalty, and persistence. Eastside High School Class of 2016, again, this is your day, but it's also our day everyone here because we celebrate with you today i'm so happy for you i'm so proud of you and it's been an honor for me to be your principal congratulations and good luck to each of you thank you now i'd like to welcome our sca and senior class presidents eric blankenship and Leah Schmidt.
probably a short. We've learned a lot over eight years here at hospital. No, Eric. It's only been four. It just felt like eight. Focus on the future and don't get caught up in boy bands that won't last. Like One Direction. Sorry, Leah. I'll never forget the lessons I learned in Eastside. For example, Quizlet has all the answers. Coincidence? I think not. And I also learned that I can be whatever I want because I'm popular, strong, the chick magnet. I'm pretty much Justin Bieber. Changing the subject. Seriously, it's a dangerous road out there. If you want to survive, invest in self-defense. Many of you may not know this, but I actually have a seventh degree black belt in karate. You'd be surprised what you can learn from watching Kung Fu Panda. Class 16, as we prepare to graduate, just know that the future is now. Well, actually, the present is now. Yeah, but in like five seconds it'll be the future. Wait, wait, wait. Five, four, three, two, now. Now's the future. It's still the present. Time is so confusing. As we complete our education, questions still remain. How do I do my taxes? How do I keep my eyebrows on clean? What part of the chicken do chicken nuggets come from? In closing, we've got to hold on to what we've got. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other. And that's a lot for love. So, so we'll give it a shot. Whoa. Sorry about that, I'm a little short. Welcome parents, graduates, friends, family, guests, esteemed faculty, and Mr. Carter to Eastside High School's 2016 graduation. Today's event for some was unexpected, but for all, it will be a checkpoint in our journey. Our journey has been filled with unpredictable events. It's my understanding that this speech is supposed to inspire greatness in the graduates of 2016. Therefore, prepare to be inspired. As with all great speeches, I will borrow from the words of those before me. I encourage you to apply the following advice to your own lives. The greatest poet of the 21st century, Justin Bieber, once said, Follow your dreams and don't let anyone stop you. Never say never. Since Justin Bieber is the biggest inspiration in my life, I would like to share a few more motivating quotes by Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber once said in his Dr. Drama Believe, instead of letting gravity take you down, take matters into your own hands and fly. We can all relate to Justin's lyrics regarding today's graduation. The lyrics say, I don't know how I got here, I knew it wouldn't be easy, but your faith in me was so clear. It didn't matter how many times I got knocked on the floor. You knew one day I would be standing tall. I'm sure we can all imagine a point in our high school career where we didn't know we would continue to come to school. I'm almost 100% sure the 2016 class invented the definition of senioritis our freshman year. Like the great Troy Bolton, aka Zach Efron, once said in the timeless classic High School Musical, we're all in this together. Like the High School Musical cast, we have all been on this wonderful journey together, but now it's time for us to part into our own separate ways. I hope you will all continue to work hard in your lives and strive for excellence, whether it be in college or in the workforce. Follow the path that will be the most successful for you, but to be successful in life does not mean you have to be perfect. It means you should be happy with your choices. People often say when I'm going to go back to high school. I, however, hope that high school was not your glory years and each day is better than the last. I do, however, hope that you have enjoyed these last four years and will remember the precious memories we have made. High school but one step in a long journey called life. Lastly, I have to end this speech with another poetic line from my future husband, Justin Bieber. In his song, Born to Be Somebody, Justin states, 
There's a dream in my soul, a fire that's deep inside me, and I was born to be somebody. There's nothing that's going to stop me, and, oh, I'm sorry, I messed that up. I was born to be somebody, ain't nothing that's ever going to stop me. Continue to fight for your dreams, no matter how far apart we are. This is what makes us the class of 2016. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce you, Sotatorian Derek Sonno. Friends, teachers, and parents, welcome. Today is graduation, the day all, or at least most of us, have been waiting for. Four years ago, most of us walked into the halls of St. Paul as nervous as we were the first day of school. We were the freshmen, the low men on the photo pole. Now, four years later, we're leaving the high school behind to a whole new crop of people, most of whom were just as nervous as we were when we arrived. It has been a long, yet short, four years at, here at Eastside High School. Long because of all the homework, readings, essays, projects, and the other stressful components of school. Short because of all the lifelong friendships, the long-lasting memories, and the truly interesting things we have learned throughout our high school career. Good or bad, long or short, I will always remember this place. Our teachers spend an unbelievable amount of time here, and many students do as well. From my experience, I can say that the teachers here at Eastside High School have pushed me into becoming a better student. Whenever I needed help, whether it be in the classroom or on the basketball court, a teacher or coach always, always was, was there to lend a helping hand. Someone I would like to recognize and give credit to is Coach Dan. He has pushed me all four years of my high school basketball career and has made me into the player I am today. He has sacrificed a lot over the past four years and without him, I would not be nearly as tough a player as I am. So what is next? I plan on attending college, as many of my classmates. Some of, some of you will go to various branches of the armed forces to keep our country safe at home and abroad. Others may decide to go right into the workforce, and some may decide to take a year or two off to figure out what they want to do. Leaving high school is a, different transit. it's a difficult transition, but no matter what you decide to do, make sure it makes you happy. I do not know what the world has in store for me, but I do know I will deal with the future life events by using the skills and knowledge that I've gained here. I firmly believe that it all comes down to help. And I have many people to thank for that. Parents, teachers, friends, and coaches. I believe that the biggest thing I have learned from high school is that you should not be afraid to lean on someone when needed because that is what parents, friends, and coaches are for. So before we walk across the stage to complete the last leg of our journey, I would like to conclude my speech by saying, make sure you are around when other people need help or someone to lean on. Trust me, we'll thank you for it. Congratulations, class of 2016. We made it. Now introducing the valedictorian Eric Lemonship. Well, we're here. We made it, class of 2016. First, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with this amazing opportunity, and I'd also like to welcome the friends, family, distinguished guests, and teachers for joining us in this celebration. I'd also like to thank all the veterans we have here on this Memorial Day weekend. Now when I sat down to start writing my speech, I soon realized I was not in any way the most qualified person in this room to give the speech, nor an expert on motivational speaking. However, I was an expert on one thing, the senior class. I mean, I've spent 13 long years with them. I would say 13 years can make you an expert on anything. In our four short years here at Eastside, we have impacted our school and the community tremendously. One accomplishment of this senior class is their ability to accept change. During our freshman year, we had the <coughs> privilege of being bused to St. Paul High School while Eastside was being remodeled. 
Uh, however, it did come with its advantages. The typical freshman had no idea where their classes are or where to go. But for us, nobody knew where their classes were or where to go. As sophomores, we experienced a huge change. The new East High School was ready for us to move in. Almost. For the majority of the year, the science wing was under construction, and our classes were held in other teachers' rooms. It was interesting seeing posters about incentive structure while learning about cell reproduction. Beginning our junior year, another major change happened. We got a new assistant principal and principal. Uh, that's the tallest administration that ESOP's ever had. And here we are as seniors. This is going to be the biggest change over the four years. Some of you will go to college to extend your education. Others may enter the workforce straight out of high school. And uh, many of you choose a different path. No matter what choice you make, this will be the biggest change over your four years. So choose wisely. As I come to a close, I would like to end by giving some advice to the senior class. In the words of Lyle's Lou, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Graduation is the first step. Thank you. God bless. Faith Coleman, 
Cody Dwayne Collins. Kayla Lynn Collins. Angelica Cheyenne Mills Cook. Tyler David Cooper. Timothy Chandler Counts. Salutatorian, Derek G. Pisano. Cody Jacob Evans. Harley Bennett Farmer. Heather Carlisle Funk. Tyler Austin Gardner. John Aaron Gamashi. Charles Blaine Gibson. Mariah Nicole Gillenwater. Robert Andrew Greer. Christian Lucas Allen Hill. Megan Renee Hill. Hunter Austin Hall. Caitlin Jade Hall. Early Alexander Hand. Winfred Ray Hand the Third. Haley Nicole Hippill. Anna Marie Hughes. Salutatorian Faith Elizabeth Jackson. Sabrina Christine Johnston. Richard Elmer Jones II. Emmett Mufasa Kellogg. Andrea Brooke Kilgore. Erica Nicole Kilgore. Chastity Amanda Kirk. Randy Alexis Kaiser. Lawrence Jeremiah Isaac Lamasters. Ariel Victoria Laws. Sierra Bay Sue Lawson. Walker Mackenzie Lawson. Scholar Elizabeth Matheson. Haley Brooke McCarty.
Christopher John McNutt. Corey Matthew McReynolds. Christopher Robin Mead. Lindsey May Mead. Cheyenne Nicole Meffer. Natasha Marie Messer. Constance Brianna Miller. Elizabeth Santana Moore. Allison Rose Mullins. Sierra Devin Mullins. Michael Caleb Nelson. Jordan Seth Page. Hunter Wayne Porter. Alexandria Nicole Pridemore. Jonathan Chase Reese. Joshua James Lee Rollins. Austin Tyler Salyers. Jacob Tyler Paul Salyers. Bethany Leanne Sanders. Roger Shantae Isaiah Sartre. Nicholas Scott Sexton. Leah Caitlin Short. Jonathan Douglas Sloan. Jackie Andrew Sluss. Alyssa Caitlin Stanley. Kendra Denise Stanley. Brittany Paige Stapleton. Joshua Tyler Strong. Cheyenne Nicole Sutherland. Kelly Lee Sachs. Tostin Scott Tankersley. Joseph Christian T. Haley Elizabeth Wright. Santana Sloan Yuri. Cindy Elizabeth York. Alyssa Moran Yance.
be seated. Congratulations, graduates. At this time, I'll present Mr. Crutchfield with the farewell pledge. Okay, with the class of 2016, please rise. The hour of graduation has arrived. It is right and seemly that at this hour, you publicly declare your purpose, and I claim for you who becomes graduates of this school. They pledge to ask you to repeat after me. But they saw the sense of my responsibility. I pledge myself to hold my diploma as a sacred trust, an emblem of my obligation to serve, with honor to myself, in generous loyalty to our school, and with fidelity to our school and my fellow men. At this time, we may move your tassel to the left side. Congratulations, you're now graduating.